Assalamu alaikum. We begin with Allah's name, the most gracious, the most merciful. May Allah's blessings and peace be upon His Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam. In today's video, we're going to be examining one of the shortest chapters in the Quran, Surah Al Masid, and the amazing mathematical harmony, which is rather odd within this chapter. And it was first noticed by a brother named Faris Abu Hamad, who sent them to Shaykh Bassam Jarrah, who double checked them and further added his own insights. I would also like to thank the brother in the comment section who turned my attention to these findings. So without further ado, let's get to it. Surat Al Masad is chapter 111 in the Quran and is only five ayat, i.e., verses long. The strange observation is that they are both odd numbers. So, is this a thread to follow? We further realize that when we check the number of letters in each verse, we see that again they are all odd numbers. But the interesting thing is that every other verse is 15 letters. So we have verse 1 with 15 letters, then verse 3 with 15 letters, and then verse 5 again with 15 letters. This seems unusual and invites a closer look. The pattern seems to highlight a relationship between odd and even numbers, with a focus on odd numbers. So with this in mind, we take an even closer look. Remember that one main key in Qur'an mathematics is the ancient Ebjidi numerical letter value system, as seen in this chart, where in Arabic each letter has a value and based upon this, words and sentences also have net values based on the sum of the numerical values of their letters. For more about this, please download my free ebook Quran Math Miracles at binirman.com. Anyway, based on the initial observations, we check the numerical value of the entire chapter and we get 5,431, which again is an odd number. So no longer is this a coincidence. And clearly, something is in perfect order. The chapter number is an odd number. The total verses in the chapter is an odd number. Then we realize that the total number of words in the chapter is also an odd number. Then when we check the total number of letters in the chapter, we are surprised that it too is an odd number. And to completely baffle us, when we check the name of the chapter, it is made up of five letters, which again is an odd number. So we keep going, and when we check the numerical value of the name of the chapter, Al Masad, we of course get 135, which shockingly is again an odd number. Then, just when we think we are done, we take a closer look at the letters that make up this chapter, and we find that out of the total 28 Abjadi Arabic letters, only 21 are used to make up this chapter, which amazingly, again, is an odd number. Subhanallah. Now remember that we had seen how amazingly every single verse has a total letter count, which is also an odd number. Truly something very odd is going on here, but we are not done yet. Then when we divide the entire chapter into odd versus even words, for clarity, all odd words are in red and all even words in blue, as seen here. We find that the numerical value of, of all odd words is 3049 and all even words 2,382. Amazingly, the numerical value of all odd words is an odd number, and the numerical value of all even words is an even number. This seems impossible, but is it just a chance or coincidence? Can we reinforce that this pattern is not by chance? To answer this, we again divide the chapter into odd versus evens, but this time, instead of words, 
We do this with the letters, which of course gives us an entire different uh, two groups of odd versus even letters. We find that the total numerical value of all odd letters in the chapter is not only again in perfect harmony an odd number, but exactly the same as the numerical letter value of all odd words. Yes, it is 3049. Of course, as you guessed it, the total numerical value for all even letters is 2382, which again is not only also an even number, but exactly the same as the total numerical value of all even words. Subhanallah. This is stunning and beyond human capacity. How can the total numerical letter value of all even words be exactly equal to the total numerical value, letter value of all even letters and the total numerical value of all odd words be exactly equal to the total numerical value of all odd letters. It is simply impossible. But of course there is more. Keep these two numbers in mind, 3049 and 2382. Upon a deeper analysis, we find even more stunning findings. When we take all the words that each has a numerical letter value, which is an odd number, this gives us yet again a different group, but still based on our odd versus even approach. For example, the first words, words order is at, of course, number one, which is an odd number. But if we are instead categorizing based on numerical letter values, as we are now, we see that it has a numerical letter value of 802, which is an even number. So based on this method, we take all words with a numerical value that is an odd number and find that their total numerical letter value is 3,153, which is an odd number, thus perfectly matching that they are each individually having total numerical letter values that are odd. This is striking because there is no reason why adding odd numbers should give us an odd total. For example, 7 is an odd number, but 7 plus 7 equals 14, which of course is an even number. This again is amazing, but can we show that this is not by chance? We repeat this process, but this time we select all words in this chapter with a total numerical letter value that is an even number, and stunningly, their total is 2,278, which is an even number. SubhanAllah. Again, the amazing harmony of this mathematical theme is highlighted. All words with a numerical value that is odd, their sum is an odd number. And all words with a numerical value which is even, their sum is an even number. Yet, this does not end here. So, is there a relationship here which we should examine? We realize that when we take 3,153, i.e. the total for all words with odd numerical letter values, and subtract 3,049, i.e. numerical value of all odd words, we get 104. Amazingly, we again get this relationship when we take 2,382, i.e. the numerical value of all even words, and subtract 2,278, i.e. the total for all words with even numerical letter values, which again is 104. This again is astonishing. But why 104? What exactly is 104? The chapter name is al masad and therefore the key word in chapter al masad is the word masad and it is the last word in this chapter. Shockingly, 104 is the numerical letter value of the word 
Masad. Subhanallah, the mathematical code is shockingly perfect and beyond human capacity. How can the entire numerical system of the chapter revolve concretely around odd numbers? How can the key word Masad in chapter Al Masad have a numerical value that perfectly highlights the relationships between the numerical values of both odd and even totals of odd versus even words and odd versus even total of words values in the chapter. This is humanly impossible. How can the total numerical letter value of all even words be exactly equal to the total numerical val letter value of all even letters and the total numerical value of all odd words be exactly equal to the total numerical value of all odd letters. This is humanly impossible. Words fail to describe this, and all we can do is go to this verse 104 and read, Verily proofs have come to you from your Lord, so whosoever sees will do so for the good of his own self, and whosoever blinds himself will do so to his own harm. If you like this video, and it truly helps a lot, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.